So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for my favourite part of the week, Interview with the Vampire. This is episode 6? Yeah, 6. We're gearing up now towards the end of the season. Oh my god, this season has been... I said it before and I'll say it again, okay? Season 1 is like my favourite season of television of all time. Impeccable. And I loved it so much and I've rewatched it so much that I was so worried going into season 2 that I was like, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, you know? It has surpassed every expectation that I have had. It it, it, yeah, it is. It is. Say it. Say it. Because it's true. It is on level with season one, in my opinion, and I am shocked to be saying that. As always, the more extended version of this reaction is going up over on Patreon. The link to that's in the description down below. There's a bunch of Patreon exclusive content as well that goes on over there. Twitter, Instagram, anywhere else you can find me is also in the description. <sighs> Play the tape. We ended the last episode with Armand skipping into the room looking like he was just coming back from a skiing holiday after having lunch. Rub the glasses off his lunch. And Daniel and Louis have both become aware of um, the mind wipery that has occurred. I'm going to pause before continuing. I'm already pausing. Oh my god, the, the title card isn't even gone yet and I'm already pausing to start yapping. The scene at the end of last episode where it's revealed that Daniel and Louis are now both aware that they have been messed with. Uh, they're standing together in, in the room like across from Armand when Armand walks in and it almost directly mirrors the I am um, the I am vampire Armand scene at the end of a, at the end of season one I'm so excited I can't even get the sentence out if you remember back at the end of season one um, when Armand reveals who he is he's like, he's like levitating in the corner <laughs> as one does but when he comes down to earth it's it's him beside Louis and Daniel's at the other side of the room watching them whereas now we have Louis and Daniel literally on the same side shoulder to shoulder facing against Armand and I just I love little details like that little intricacies that the first reveal of Armand was in that room and that the second reveal of Armand this kind of darker reveal to him of did you mess with our minds that that reveal is happens in the same place too I just oh I love it like the light by which God made the world before he made light no. there was no postage on the package with the tapes so they dropped them off themselves Rashid did you guys get to my mailman I usually give him a little something for Christmas, but I mean... I give my mailman Regine? stuff too for Christmas. I give them cards and little boxes of chocolates. I love my mailmen. I mean, they're at my house like every second day. I have an online shopping problem. They know me by name. I'm going to the bathroom. Do you want me to... I'm going to make a run for it. it. Hello. Oh, God, hello. He loves the hand soap they use here. I wouldn't worry too much about Rashid. You know Rashid? <sighs> and Rashid left just before he sat down. How about the Ai Weiwei wallpaper with the Hockney lemons? What do you think we should do with the wall? Are we just trying to figure out what to redecorate? Bigger fish to fry here, dudes. I want to get out alive. You want a book. I want to live. Both. You fear Armand. You should fear the other one. What about a selection of Fred Stein? Hang on now. No, I don't think I could fear Louis. I love Louis. I what? My my boy never did a thing wrong in his life. What are you talking about? I am a Louis de Point de Lac defender and sympathizer to the end. That being said, it does kind of feel like they're building Armand up an awful lot that he's the one that we should be worried about, that we should be suspicious about, but maybe it's misdirection? Maybe it's not misdirection, but Louis is also hmm. I don't like it when shows make me doubt myself and this is making me doubt myself. Leave it bare then. Wait for revelation to enter the room. Can't leave it bare. It looks Listen, desperate. You find a publisher. Have a publisher. Up. Poor Armand. I'm feeling bad for Armand now. I don't know if I should be or not. But like last episode, he was dragged for filth, called you know boring and dull, and they need to get on the phone with his ex, Lestat, about his current boyfriend that he thought was soon to be ex. He was all very awkward, you know, and then that reveal at the end. Superiors have a list, a few hundred questions they'd like you to weave into your interview, and I'm... A few hundred? Charge. I think it would be disastrous. You're recalling the events with bias because of the machination surrounding it. The oddity of recollection. What does it mean to die when you can live until the end of the world? Living till the end of the world isn't guaranteed, though, I'm because even vampires can centuries. die. It just means you're not going to die as quickly as humans do. Been eternally young. And eternally ancient. Oh, and someone has her diary. Me. See, that makes me anxious because I do remember how Claudia's story um, takes a turn here. And I, I there's pieces I remember because I have read the book and I've also read the vampire Lestat. But I feel like I need to go back like with a, with, a, with a finer lens to really 
hone in on certain details because there's things that are fuzzy in my head. I don't, I, I just don't, I don't. Can they get out of this happy, please? Take the passage again, Santiago, and a foot forward downstage. It's quite lovely, Sam. Liar. Thank you, Matt. I really like him as an actor. I think he's fascinating. Every time he's on screen, I'm just captivated. He has this aura to him. What does it mean to die? When you can live oh, yeah. until the end of the world. It's the point I was making a minute ago that vampires, just because you can live forever, doesn't mean you are going to live forever. You can be, like, ended. It's, it's interesting that vampires are, like, really fascinated with this idea of, of immortality because you're not immortal. You just have an extended lifespan. It will come to an end sometime, be that by somebody else's hand or maybe your own hand. It's not that you can't die. It's just that it's a bit harder for you to. So I just think that's interesting that they all become so obsessed and transfixed with this idea of living forever and that it usually is that idea that leads to the to your downfall the True. play had no roles for women and petulant members of the coven were free to roam the night monsieur leonco the gentleman whose wealth has made our sacred art possible only one way asking them as a last time they were in communication he's performing a soliloquy on stage while talking to them mentally early february 1940 Merci. in retrospect the Buffoon was in the audience. You were being played, baby. You were being played. See, I'm starting. Oh, I think I am an Armand sympathizer. Vampire, you could read any mind you want. I was in love. I buy that he'd been in power. It was love. Okay. Did you and Mr. Malloy talk to anyone during dinner? Were you with Mr. Malloy the entire dinner? He used the restroom for approximately five minutes. Love. He wants to know if there was any outside influences, I think. Ooh, this is fucking hostile. But I do wonder why Armand couldn't hear all this going on because he can read anybody's mind, right? Except for your maker. Isn't that how it goes? And the, and those that you make, you can't hear their thoughts. That's why Lestat couldn't hear Louis' thoughts and Claudia's thoughts, but Claudia and, and Louis could hear each other's thoughts. So surely Armand should have been able to read everybody's mind in the theatre. Right? Because his maker wasn't there and I don't think he made anybody there himself. Did he? Wait, maybe he did. Either way, there should have been some people's thoughts he should have been able to tap into. Fuck these vampires. That's your last entry, unless you're sitting on more of those ripped out pages. Everything related to Claudia from this point forward is without written corroboration. Just our memories of her. However porous they come. Armand looks murderous. A little more vermouth next time, Rashid. Careful. Cannot... They'll put laxatives in your martinis, Daniel. Is Claudia going to come in and save the day? I have a feeling. <laughs> Neighbors don't care, but someone does. You are so fucked. How the hell is she gonna explain this to police? Hey! Yeah, I am. Aren't you lucky that I am? You gonna run? I think she knows that she doesn't need to. Just go in, sit down inside your room, close the door. Well, you might need to open the door because I think there's one body inside your room, but I'll come in and get that super quick. I'm gonna clean up and then we can talk. Okay. Vampire. She said it for her. Top of the morning. Top of the morning! Thank you. <laughs> Love hearing my phrases in TV shows. Hey, little cigar ends. Like. Portals to the sky beyond. Like you got sick on the canvas? Watch. I'll sell it for five times the price in a year. Real estate, dividend stocks with compound interest. Well, he's got Maybe a plan. Plane. And who is going to fly your plane? I'll fly. I am going through uh, Sam's new Close pages. off, face down in the coffin. You can read them to me while I fuck you. Huh. You want to hear about the play still or no? Louis is so chaotic. Walked in here. I'm gonna invest in like paintings. I'm gonna become a pilot and you know, face down, ass up. Read me your play. <laughs> What's blood taste like? You've bit your lip before. No, um, it's not the answers to life's mystery. It's food. I need it. And me? I'm watching your veins dance under your skin, but like it's cool. It's okay. No. Pourquoi no? No. Is the dressmaker you're supposed to run out of town? Instructions unclear. Um, yeah. She says another word, I'll break her arms and throw her out the window. Pull up her chair, and she sat in the corner and watched while I bundled up bodies. Didn't cry. 
then get flustered. She's cool with it. You are the starts, now you're Armand's. Or Armand is mine. I get to pick one thing. Is she choosing? And it's her. Is she choosing her companion? A weird white lady I met by happenstance. I never made one before. I'm not sure if I can. No, not Armand. you. Armand? Trampled on the laws and I am to reward her for it? Can you imagine me without the burden of her? This episode feels weird. What's going on with Louis this episode? He's bitter and he's saying weird shit. He would never say that about Claudia. Imagine me without her. Is this recollection like, I don't know. This feels odd. Also, it's strange to see Armand in Lestat's position. Louis brought Claudia to Lestat and begged him to turn her. Now, Louis is bringing uh, Claudia's soon to be companion to Armand and begging him to turn hers it's just yeah it's there's lots of callbacks and, and like or not not necessarily callbacks just like parallels that i really really like you're a manipulator claudia de leon Koch. no that's not her name i kind of fucking wish she eating that apple what the mm, je vais être avec elle. Mais toi, tu peux aller te faire foutre. they always think they're different si tu fais de moi un monstre tu feras comme transformant ce que je suis déjà Look at the way she's eating that apple. Clearly there's something not right with her. She's already unhinged. So Armand's gonna do this for her? To make Louis happy. The same reason the stat turned Claudia. I said it to get him through the door. Mm. Mm. Did you mean it? No. Does it matter? I got the result. So he's going back to who he was pre-vampire, before he was a vampire, back when he was running things in the square. He's bringing back a bit of that uh, bite to his personality. Et occasionnellement, je me livrerai à mes appétits. Et quand les derniers vestiges de ton époque auront disparu. I'll enter a new era. Comment continueras-tu? It can be my very own era's tour. He's going to say yes. He's terrifyingly sexy and startlingly... Comment vas-tu survivre à l'éternité? Imposing. How is she just playing with that apple while he's just staring her down? She's gonna like jump on her now or something. I'll make sure I have marshmallows. I don't know. Whatever, whatever answer you want, man. She probably has it. He's gonna jump on her. I can feel it. He's gonna jump. He said no. I said I would not do it. Maître in the bedroom. Met... Look at how they're sitting. Look at their he body never language. Made one. What? What? I've never made a vampire. You are a 500 year old vampire. You... Is your <clears throat> companion stuck up there chewing on your innards like a hamster? Louis is not my Claudia? asshole hamster. <laughs> he you is my companion. Another object to buff. How dare you speak of him? We do horror shows so we can eat people. I love your work, Sam. Apologies. Oh my Sam, god. I love that you apologized him before he left the room. He was like, I didn't mean it, Sam. He'll be back. Armand, baby, honey, beautiful little person. Open your mind. Listen to the brains. A telescopic lens stolen from the observatory at Meudon. Its inventory of color film stock is snatched. So we robbed telescopes and a bunch of cameras. We go on vlogging on the fucking down low. It's forbidden. The woman could turn into one of those drooling revenants you saw back in. You should Tell me in my mind, I, I can't keep it closed anymore. I want you to come. Why? That's, that's asking like a lot. Cause? Cause fuck it, why not? It's like giving birth, right? Turning a vampire? Turning somebody into a vampire? It's like, I'm giving birth to a vampire tonight. I want you to be there. I mean, you're my lover. Are you asking or making me? I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Make sure we're not bothered. Oh, that stung. Okay, no, wait. I'm sensing a softer side to our mind that I didn't... Louis feels like he has the upper hand here, but he feels like, like I said, he's bringing back kind of who he was pre-vampire. Armand just looks kind of lost and scared. And that disappointed, it's all right, from Louis, I think hurt him more than anything. He's already fangs out, is he? Yeah. Well, don't, don't be touching on his fangs. You don't know him that way. Yeah, he's going to turn you, but that's... I'm turning cold now. It's cool. You're dying. You're doing it. Good for you. Oh my god. Oh, that's like the scene with the stat and Louis. Do you remember when they used to feed together? But they're not feeding. They're turning. Does that mean she's both of theirs? I drank with obligation. The joys of a sunny afternoon. The anguish of an unexpected death. 
Oh my god. Claudia as Madeline perceived her. And I knew then she would be a better companion to Claudia. On their way. I told them to get out of town because I can feel her. Madeline. So is he wondering, can, this, can the staff feel him? Open my wrist back up. I thought I'd feel like I was losing Claudia. I did not care. I finished the job. He said something about being even. You'll find your way back to each other. What's in the suitcase? What's on the suitcase? Was those flowers? Cutting from a magnolia tree I've been growing. Is that the tree in their apartment? They might have killed me. Hunted the three of you down. He's leaving. Caught you, burned you. You broke with the coven? They gave me a choice. This is too important a moment in our story for these games. Oh, is there a game being played? Yeah, it's like 5D mind chess. What you did to yourself in San Francisco, and you're angry that I erased it. You asked me to do it. Never ask you to do that. The pages I tore out of Claudia's diaries, we did most of those together. Not all of and them. And the ones I did on my own were to protect me. Why did I owe you? My one act of cowardice, abhorrent consequences that followed most of my life. Trying to make up for it, I'll never make up for it. I had wondered that. Did Louis work something out with Armand? Maybe he wanted to forget and he asked Armand to mind wipe him. Did Louis maybe write a note to say like, yeah, like I give consent, I want this memory gone. And that if should a day ever occur where I remember, Armand could show him the letter. They should have worked something like that out. You were going to drain me, pal. Belated apology number two. Sorry, I nearly killed you. Oops. I asked you to erase it after you came out of a shower in our home in Sicily. Continuing on the record, Mr. Malloy, I was a coward. His biggest crime is being too in love. Oh, look at them all together. We're going to wonder. Wonder? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she's wonder. taken to vampire life very well. To find an ex. This is too happy. Oh, oh, this is too happy. You all right then? I cannot read your mind. I made you. That's just the way it is. Yes, but I feel you, Louis. I'm glad we did this. Yes, he loves you. Okay. Okay. Well, let's hey. get the hell out of my soul. He gets enough affection. I don't need it. No, we need more affection. This is adorable. No. <laughs> Look at how happy that made Armand. Love. He got so overcome with emotion, he had to leave the table. Oh my God. This soft side him turning out to be just softness. That he just loves Louis and everything he's done has been for him. And I know he said that all along, yes. But it has just been for him. No ulterior motive. His crime has been too in love. What's wrong with you, baby? Everything is about to get fucked. What? What? He chose. For 150 years, we here at the theater. Fuck your mother, it'll have to wait. Today, I should be smiling at him. I'll we'll get my smiles. Are you ready? Not. Not. That's totally what I think it is. Oh my god, they're not changing it. They're going with the original end. To ministry of entrance. Monsieur Lienka. Monsieur Lienka. Thank you. I'm gonna have to rewatch that one back. I feel like there was a lot in that that went over my head that I missed because I was trying to make points, but points were coming to my head and then they were shooting out of my ear when other things happened. You know what I'm saying? I was getting distracted. I'm just gonna fuck off like now and edit this right away to try and get it up sometime today maybe I don't know depending on when you're seeing this I have I have a video going up uh, within the next couple of days that you guys are going to really like trust me so well hopefully hopefully fingers crossed so uh, keep an eye out for that um, I'm just gonna go edit that my, my brain is my brain my brain ah uh, Thanks for watching.